We begin this hour with that breaking news. The judge in the trial between Dominion Voting Systems and Fox News has just appointed what's called a special master in the case. Yeah, this is happening even as we speak. Dominion alleges that Fox News knowingly spread false information claiming its voting machines rigged the 2020 election. Those are claims, of course, stoked by then-President Donald Trump and his allies. Fox News denies those claims. They cite the First Amendment protections and what Fox calls the media's absolute right to cover the news. Dominion is seeking $1.6 billion in damages from Fox. We have NBC News correspondent Emily Aketa, who's outside the courthouse in Wilmington, Delaware, also with us here on set, NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos. Emily, let me start with this breaking news and you. What more do we know about this special master and why the judge might have made that decision? Well, Kate, we're just getting our eyes on these court documents. The judge formally tasking a special master to investigate if Fox News Network did comply with its discovery obligations, as the network has previously said it has done so. The inquiry comes after a former Fox News producer brought to light some recordings of conversations that she conducted and Fox employees conducted with sources around voter and election uh, fraud allegations. Now, I'll tell you this. I've been going in and out of the courthouse throughout the day in order for me to do so. So I have to be in the media overflow room. So I have this unique window. I can see this live stream of what's happening in the courtroom. And you may remember in the last hour I told you, okay, uh, opening statements, they were supposed to be getting underway around 1.30 p.m. It is now 3 p.m. So we're experiencing a significant delay here. We were supposed to hear from Dominion and then Fox. So as to why that is the case, what is causing this prolonged delay, it remains unanswered, but it's certainly fueling speculation. It is the second delay we've seen. Remember, initially the trial was supposed to get started yesterday. It was pushed to today. And now we're seeing this delay in opening statements. Uh, so uh, we're going to be continuing to watch. Uh, but right before I stepped outside, I did. Uh, I was speaking with a representative of the courthouse. He told the members of the media, you know, as an update, there is no update. So we will see if we actually do get to opening statements uh, this afternoon because uh, court is supposed to be adjourned around 430 or so, guys. Hey, Emily, we want to let you get back into the courtroom. Let's get to Danny on this topic of the special master, if we can, very quickly. I think a lot of folks us included, are trying to figure out what exactly this means and how it will impact things going forward. A special master is basically like a mini judge. This judge doesn't have time to deal with these discovery issues. He's on trial. So he appoints essentially a mini version of himself to investigate independently the issue of whether or not Fox or possibly their attorneys played discovery games and whether or Define not... Define discovery hit. for us, sure. for those who don't know what discovery is, sorry. In the civil system in America, each side is on its honor, on the honor system, to turn over documents that are requested. The problem with that is that if you hide documents, it can be very hard for the other side to find out that it even happened. Right. In a lot of my cases, I have often suspected that the other side is hiding documents, but you can't prove it because you don't have access to the documents. So the special master here has a lot of powers to investigate who, what, where, and when, and whether or not documents were hidden. So in the case, once it finally starts moving forward, we expect that uh, Fox News is going to say, we're protected by the First Amendment here. We didn't defame. We didn't, we're not guilty of defamation, right? W what is the standard uh, for a news outlet and whether they can just say First Amendment? The First Amendment does not give anyone a right to defame others, no more than it allows us to make threats or do something like shout fire in a crowded theater. There have always been exceptions to the First Amendment. And defamation is simply a false statement about somebody else that causes them harm. And the statement is made, at least under the New York Times v. Sullivan standard, with reckless disregard of whether or not, at least reckless disregard of whether or not the statement was true. By the way, judge in this case has already determined that the statements were false. So half the case is already won for Dominion. Yeah, and then, of course, the next question becomes if there's still the potential for a settlement. You've told us that that still remains a potential, even though this trial is already underway. Danny Savalas, thanks for your expertise. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.